Well, um, hi everybody. It's a uh, unexpectedly good day. Uh, wow, y'all. Um, yeah. Uh, kind of cool. Um. Wasn't expecting uh, one to be home early. That that's always good, especially on a Friday. Um, ooh, well I got a Twitch payout today. Uh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> like I better fucking I better go uh, this to process and uh, transfer now before they change their fucking minds, right? Um, y'all, cool. So anyway. We're gonna do some uh, work on my Nemean Panthers mercenary company. I know it's been a hot minute since we've streamed together uh, for anything but D&D, but uh, y'all got me feeling inspired today. I uh, already got my workouts done for the week. You know, we've got time to kill. Yeah, we're gonna fuck around and find out this afternoon. Hope everyone's having a good Friday. Rock and roll. Oh, thank you. On that out there. More of y'all watch the offline. Than Assuming y'all schedules are. I am not, uh... Thank you. Watching and kind of... Doing your, your thing. It's been great. A little bittersweet. There, Saribot finally catching up. Bittersweet. Finally. A little bittersweet on that. That's... Found out through a panther's... Anyway, y'all. This... Fact. So, the Cataphract is actually the first brand new mech uh, created in, I want to say at least 200 in uh, Battletech Universe. Uh, the Fourth Succession War in, sorry, we're, we're off our game, off form. Also, our MN. But anyway, so this is the first Heck. Kind of more of a Franken mech, but it, it still counts. And it's good enough that, uh, in addition to, uh, Davion's marriage to Steiner, Helen Confederation was his wedding gift. Um, this is the most the reason he can get. Build it. Pretty neat little mech. It's uh, pretty economical to field. Part of the reason it's a uh, going up in. The... By the way, uh, finally figured out their color scheme, I think. And uh, at least one that we're committing to for now. I like the Cataphract a great deal. It's got this really nice, just kind of rugged, frank and mechy kind of look to it. As it is in Battletech, I, I, will, I have a long-standing uh, love for trash mechs and franken mech. Old Cataphract here, kind of like the official version. There's not been a lance. 
only mech that has so far. Cyclops. Right? Let's be honest, Cyclops is, in fact, Daddy's oldest outside of the M8. Actual command. Two bonus. You get that. that. That's its biggest use. So when you take that away, it would have lived. And that's kind of sad because the mech is like 93. Only a couple of weeks heavier. Quite literally. Everybody's got their mech that... Hell, oh, every... Some of the failed mechs are really cool. Battletech can be just as cool for mechs that are an abysmal failure as it And there's mechs that are, you know, off the beat. Hug. Hug is death. I'm way off my not painted together. Feeling pretty free. Make this a two for today. We might uh we might uh after the paint stream take a little break for a while and maybe we'll play some Stellaris together. If one of my buddies is down. That ought to be cool. I think you guys will enjoy Stellaris. Axing, pretty cool game. It's a big grand strategy game where you're trying to take over the gal. Whatever means you suited to your play style. Or the particular faction you Which is usually what we kind of do. Kind of try to stick with a theme. Works out most of the time. I tend to have a... Him? Is the case. By then, my buddy is usually checking up pretty hard. Yeah, this purple is really pretty. Uh, big fan. Big fan of this purple. We are going to be messing around with some other the purple. Having a ball with that. I think you guys are going to... I'm having fun. This, by the way, is a great game. Like, we've played a ton of these. That's right. We are always coming back for more. We're always trying the new rule, other rule, new things to try. Like, we're now we're playing around with the Lance rules, finally. At some point, we're going to do the command rules. We've not been disappointed yet. Thing in the game. Hoping that trend continues. Highly recommend. Incredibly appropriate. Providing you're not like me and Ori, Lecter, all of the mechs, just... I am that guy. I'm fully that guy, and I'll admit it. So, anyway... 
I'm glad you guys are stuff and uh I'll just let me know if there's like minis that are specific that you guys want to see me paint. We're going to do some different paintings. Actually, one of my few. Oh, at least not at first. It's going to be a kit bashing stream where I assemble a model from like four or five different other ones. Because I have an old character that, uh, I would love to have a mini for, just so that I have the opportunity to play as her later. And having the mini kind of, it, it doesn't make me do it, early, but it solidifies the concept in my head that, hey, you need to get around to this. That's the reason why Chi is now a, started with a mini. The Lady Frost, the, uh, yeah, we are have a should be outside working. Really ain't. Got home, I saw the uh they're uh they want me to you doing this, then we will continue. Oh, good. Feels good when you're... Cool. They're, uh, they're having a good time with this. I thank you guys for these models. could have done something really boring. But the guys are run by essentially a pirate queen. Cat girl. Saved. Gratitude, you know. Put her out in a tank. Panthers. Case. Gave her a mess. Fascinated. Uh, it changes thing. Panthers. I technically could do two different paint schemes, and I will at some point. I will have a, a free Rayana's Panthers. But yeah, I essentially have based her in part off of a uh, Chinese pirate queen. Um... He had a very, very lucrative uh, career. But yeah, have some fun slapping some and along on them for the ride for a little bit. These guys are really cool. I really enjoy painting. No different in paint scheme to like almost everything else I've made. A little nip of some Woodford to celebrate. Just a little. Y'all are cool. Y'all are cool. Y'all are fucking cool. And uh, thank you to anyone that uh, came by and uh, watched Nymphadora and I pull around on Overwatch 2. Um,
anyway, get back to work. So, guys, pull around here. Uh, put some paint on these little trash cans, shall we? The Irby. The humble Irby. One of the coolest max. I, uh, picked up an entire company up because, uh, Catalyst decided to offer the set. So, uh, I was like, well, who can say no to 12 urban mechs? I now own 12, and I immediately put two in Panthers. I didn't even think twice about it. Like, that is, uh, in my buying guide, I have urbans here. A little trash can that could. Panthers mech. By the way, is also of of them. Yeah, if you guys want to see something cool, there's there's our little trash cans. They're neat. I love the herb. So cool. Pulling the mini back away from you guys. It's been a hot minute, I'm sorry. I love I hope you guys do too. If you're just here for the minis, then that's cool too. Sit and chill and listen to the clown show for a little bit. Hey. Good Friday, guys. Everything else going wrong. Two constants are you can get any day you're not at work, right? Find something doesn't need. Hurt anybody and everybody involved is happy. So anyway. Our little banshee here is uh, going to help scoop some paint on. Uh, he was one of the ones that uh, got a, a brush of death uh, with the gloss white, the shot from gloss white primer, because I was out of normal paint, and I was like, well, hell, I'll just shoot some primer. Well, I didn't realize they, that was not primer. It was gloss white spray paint, and um, paint adhesion is a bitch to gloss spray paints. I will tell you that right now. It is a living bitch. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, um, sorry, I was reading something on the uh, Panther's Twitter there first. Y'all get to suffer with that shit. There's some paint going on here. It's great. Painting is. Uh, 
the kit bashing that's going to. I think you guys are going to enjoy the kit bash. Maybe I'll uh, buy the stuff I need to actually kit bash pretty soon. Do you can see what I mean about this paint adhesion already being a problem? I've, I've mixed this stuff pretty thick just so that I have a shot at this on one just to make this a coat job instead of five and paint is dis the gloss paint is disgusting I will go out legit easier to paint without primer than it is gloss But that's just my no talent hack. Guys, I know how to do so. Yeah, these guys are cool. I really... I've probably played more as them Fire Dragon. Which I made the Sapphire Dragons. But it just so happens, like, I have more... Not that I have more for them, but the one I do have just seems... bit more for... That's okay. We we're going to be playing as the dragons this weekend. I think you guys will enjoy. The old Twitter uh, suspension lifts. One of my buddies has uh, finally started painting his own. Starting out with the slap chop method. Don't blame. Looks incredibly appropriate. As long as he doesn't shoot his, anything with a gloss paint, he should. Dag Merc. I've I've been putting this off partly because. Just to try to get something we building on the eight some existing. Jesus, man, I'm never ever doing paint for primer. Such a horrible mistake. But I think that paint's gone now. I think I threw it out so it can never be able to try. I have no use for that shit. Literally. Probably would have been better off just like laying titanium white on it. We're trying to start over.
So anyway, uh, got some games planned Saturday, and uh, I have a couple of mock lists for the guys, but I don't have any. Panthers are cool, but I do want to start playing as my... Uh, those guys are cool. At least one of my games. We get to have a debut match. I... Character. That is Chris... Hopefully, fuck some shit. So, it's not a bad start so far. There's our hatchetman that we're kind of working on, slowly but steadily as well. As you guys can see, it's a really bright color against a dark purple. Highlights for purple and stuff will happen as we go. I end on giving us quite a bit more to uh, make things even out a little bit, but you guys can kind of crash cans going. I think these guys doesn't love it. And this Merc company uses a lot of tanks and a lot of cheaper mechs. They don't have astounding resources. My other Merc has, because my other Merc company is pretty much the, these guys are quote unquote not working for the government, but they are. They're the definite sponsored uh, mercenary company. Enter here. Enter is a re so good the clanners when they came. Enter is a fucking great. Don't uh, either at all. Facing at the and if it's a dark color. It's it's a Get something on your as 
事情I wanted to free. you guys go is the uh, basis of sorry I painted most of that off dedicated and fixed in spots as much yeah we're just Making a little, a little something, something. Hopefully, have the return of our other DM. Yeah, that should be a good day. Monday should be a. I think we're gonna have the return of our DM. If not, I will do so. I don't like missing more than a week in a row. you guys Panthers X for them and to be a little bit more economic.
cause pain. Some more paint. We're out of paint. So really glad you. Keep some weird hours, I'm just saying. Just because. Walk away from. That happened. That's cool. That's coming back. Hey, I'll. So that is not a bad wolver. Don't look pretty neat when he's dry, I'm sure. Gonna run into the same problem everything else that has been shot in this god awful base coat of is. she took like we're gonna start on our Other mercenary company. That was the other reason I decided to make two. have multiple factions have different act. I started out with made a bind. Going to be more additions to.
Oh wait, my catapults. seriously considering putting a varnish over Y'all been staring at the top of my head. Yeah. Been a lot minute. Forty two minutes of it. still so eggs There. Okay, that's Wolverine number two in the background. Cataphractor turn. So, we're almost ready to let that sit for a minute on our Shadow Hawk in the back here. I have to re redo my paint. No biggie. It'll. So, let's change the music a little bit. I like this, but we're kind of...
Try a little change of pace. Those guys have got to do their thing yet. We have a little bit of some dead time here. Sippy sippy. So cool. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys have been having a fun time so far. I usually do any more paintings. Good day for it. As are the kids, so. Mix up some purple and water. Uh, when you work with this uh, craft store stuff, uh, I recommend. Mix quite a bit of water in with it. It's super thick. with this horrible gloss paint fighting right now don't want it they'll lose you know it can get annoying real that in mind is your trying to figure out what works wise don't have to I have a layer Vallejo is a phenomenal painting. Some of the craft store stuff, man. In this way. They, if people can paint real fucking paintings with this shit, you probably can paint model. Oil painting mini. Oh, I have mad props to anyone that... Not for me, because my setup does... Keep that in mind. If you decide to work with oil, make sure you're set up for it. Don't don't play huff the paint fume, alright? They're not good for you. Anyway, the guillotine is in some ways. Not a particularly beloved mech in uh, in universe, at least outside of Comstar. Most people consider it unreliable crap because in the main game it has all kinds of weird little quirks that help it become unreliable. Great Panthers heavy because of this. Because you're not going to see a lot of them outside of. It couple of nations. But pirates. Well, it helps when you're by a, a practically a pirate queen. X are a little on piratey side. No one's gonna say because yard. So anyway. All starts base coat. Base layers on. And 
and uh, you're going to be really happy, folks. Guillotine looks so cool. I'm so glad I picked it as well. The fact that I took the thug with it kind of also ties in thematically a little bit as far as the aesthetics go. Like, they look like their cousin, Max. I mean, we are working on the thug right now. Very nifty, Max. Very nifty. The thug is also a uh, competitor on paper, too. And uh, you could argue it's not as good because Warhammer does in 70, the thug can do in 5 or 80. So it's like 5 tons heavier for comparable. It is a bit more, it is a lot more armored than Warhammer, right? It doesn't have that going. On a particularly amazingly successful assault match. Okay, there's another trash can coat. Putting coats on our trash cans. As you can see, uh, everything that's not gloss is dry pretty freaking well. Paint around. Go until you're comfy with it. On to your neck. My best. Very first start out, recommend a little bit more water than you think you need. Don't always thicken your paint up, dollop. You need to. Oh, that's not too too shabby. These guys kind of have a little bit highlight going. Um. No, oh, have the purple on. This step here, we're basically of max once you auto any auto max it especially since mwo in particular is the worst of the book under where oh you just got the slot and the tonnage you can put whatever you want inside that and that ruins so many max um this game's not designed around 
being able to Lego every battle mech. Looks like a fun mech. I own Sparrow. I suspect it's a lamp. So anyway, let's get back to work. So. You can just tell I'm enthused. Lathering paint. Not looking forward to it. Alright, let me go get it. Um my work. Uh, so. Oh, I'm going to have to read. Out of fact, I just need some to work on the same with Pretty much in the same. Yeah. Mercury. Pretty much done. Colors on him. Hatchetman back. Thug looks like he's in details mode. Well, our brave little trash cans are still wet, so we're going to wait on them a little bit longer. Like the same can be said for. Well, has a couple of patches on. Um. All right. Let's let's paint this fucking catapult in Shadowhawk that we're both shot with gloss white. That team don't do it. I wanted to get the paint first yesterday. Not gonna do. I've already goofed on your team's shoulders a little bit. I don't want to recreate the air. Mix that up nice and pretty. Uh, and then we'll the slather. Enjoying life. Oh, I have a Marauder Two. We've got to work on. Oh, team. Marauder Two that we can work. On. Yeah, we're gonna do that after we get. 
Otter Toot. I think you guys are encouraged. So we're gonna have a uh, payday. We're gonna have a kit bashing. You guys are gonna. Get it's gonna be cool. Looking forward to doing. It. Hope you guys are there. Oh. The danger bumps. The catapult actually has the bumps and not the holes. I'm gonna have to actually paint the danger bumps. Yes. Get to paint missiles in their tubes. So we're gonna do that at some point. Figure out what color I want my forehead tip. Who doesn't love a cool catapult? Good question there, more. Um, catapult is. Do you have any love for this franchise? We'll fall in love with it. Because there is a catapult that is just right for you. There is a catapult for it. I promise you. If you want a, a, a flat cat fucking destroyer of doom that just owns the mid and short range, there's a catapult for it. If you want long range missiles of doom, there's a catapult for it. You want medium ballistic missile, conventional ballistic missile that can just duke the crap out of an, a big area? There's a catapult for that. I promise you guys, there are kitty cats over B Tech for this. So cool. Uh, but anyway, our kitty cat needs to. Let's, let's work on this shadow hawk. I'm not a terribly big fan. Catalyst Shadow. It came in my armored combat box. Only thing in that box left that will be in pile of shame is Pando. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with him. I think he's going to eat diner look. Just enough mechs that are questionable. I could probably paint. Because they didn't fit the scheme. I'll say y'all, that is a will experience. Best enjoyed if you try. Just a time where you're bullshitting with your. Don't be those weirdos that play A competitively. Like, please. Game is not set up for them. Probably never will be. Back to the haven't changed. Pretty much. With a big stompy robot.
Okay. The scenario is working. Buddy of mine is Merck. Dating a metal arm. My villain matched for the fresh off the assassination. Founders, founder of, he decided that it would massacre. He essentially is just like, yeah, I'm going to like nuke the whorehouse to do. That's all right. Say scorched earth is acceptable to her is a little bit of an understatement right now. That's what she's after. She full hamming going after. So anyway, his Merca. James, and Christopher is going to probably do some horrible shit on uh, Saturday, which make it personal for the, uh, well, so, yeah, we're, we're going to have some good old fun times with it. Looking forward to it and expanding our story. We've got a fair bit here on our base coats. Bye for a minute. So I'm going to go get some water. But he's, I will be back, chat. Right back.
See? I lied. We have two mechs. I got all excited. Forgot I even had. Hey, how's it going, Zo? I forgot all about our other two assault mechs. So we're gonna put these guys all over to the sides. Shadowhawk over there till he dries. Hearing rack. Trash cans, Jenners. Wolverines will definitely need a reap. Your team looks pretty decent. About ready for highlights and details. Same with the Hatchetman Thug Jenner as well, as well as both trash cans and the cataphract. So, we're making pretty good chunks out of these guys. You doing all right? Uh, yeah. This is these are the Nemean Panthers. This is the other mercenary company who, up until a few days ago, I decided were did not have an idea of what I was going to paint them at all. So. We've already painted our trash cans that they have. We got some of the basics down, and uh, they look baller. Um, I am enjoying these. Got to do the pinks and highlights for pinks, and then we've got to do the black stripe, the guns, the jump jets, and all that fun stuff. But you can see we've already made a substantial amount of progress. Hmm. 
Oh man. I needed that. So let's get to work, shall we? So guys. Yeah, I got a, an early start in I wasn't originally planning on painting today. That Twitch payout gave me some motivation. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, uh, I'll get to working on this channel a little bit more. Hopefully. Get some more regular content outside of the dump. Guys, nice. we're going to have some fun. I've only had one mech disappear, as I said uh, earlier. Cyclops. And to be fair to it, I knew I had the shitty version, and I knew it was going to be... And so, it only lived up to patience. Or lived down to them, I should... Buy a better heavy. Don't buy a crappy Cyclops. Buy a better heavy. Get out a catapult that'll wax wipe the floor with my opponent. It's that's okay. Looks so boss with his little purple feetsies. So these are gonna be pink. This little end here. a weakness for craft store paint cheap coverage is pretty good once you get it on there and you guys can see uh, hmm. does the job quite nice even with this god awful gloss but yeah, we're 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 having some fun here, so we're gonna work more on these guys. Base is on, herbs, and uh, maybe get some pinks. Might work on our tanks and get the purple on the tanks today. Tanks that both uh, defective three prints, but will certainly do the work that we do, which is sampling. Back a little bit. Yeah, these are the mechs that are be fun. Air. This is a long... Its whole job is fire support. Great roll every... But I don't know if your main character should have. Personal me thing. I'm judging anyone that does it. Just a personal thing. I don't even mind sniper. Like, I think you should be able to. 
Now, that said, she will have a cast of characters her own, just like the Sapphire Dragons do. Uh, speaking of, I need to talk with one of my buddies. off to the side while it drops. Tempted to work. Let's start the perp on the Marauder 2, which is Rayana's. This bad boy is made to rock the ox. Anything it papers pills I give her. War. You do know that the Marauder Two is. Maybe she changes how this thing. I want to say the version I have is a juggernaut in battlefield role, so I could give her one. Yeah, I am a big fan of the Marauder too. It is really fucking cool. Marauder in general is just an amazing. There is something fucking amazing. And it's a. Great battle neck. Absolutely. As for her pilot skill, I Right now, I just know what kind of lance she alt. Oh, am I? I'm probably getting too far from the mic again. Got a nasty habit. I'm relearning how to do all this again on camera too. It's been so long since we've done a painting stream together that uh, kind of forgotten how to like position the models, position my head. Speaking of. Get down here. There we go. This should this should prevent all future clipping. In fact, I don't know why it was so high up in the first place. Something happened that I needed it high up for. Okay, so we're gonna pink there. 
at edging here. Yeah, Rayana here is... I don't have a name for her mech yet. Dancer's Vengeance. That that sounds like a or a pirate queen is a former uh, dancing girl slash prostitute. Dancer's Vengeance. Considering that she gets this thing pretty much right after uh, her adoptive father figure gets whacked. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna name. It. We're going to name it Dancer's Vengeance. So now we wait for that to dry. Put these guys off to the side. While we wait. Oh, I'm going to love this paint scheme. This paint scheme's maturing so fast. kind of want to redo all the other ones in the back. That's okay. It actually kind of adds a little bit of character to have your dudes not 100% uniform. And mechs in Battletech are kind of like a knight's armor and steed and weapon all into one, right? Well, knights are, are incredibly specific and individualistic as warriors. So each one should be a little different than the other, even when they all come from the same place. In my opinion, it fits the aesthetic better. Setting. So having these guys not all be quite the same is going to be one of the more critical details, and we'll get there. Uh, God, I love the catapult. It's such a cool mech. That's the one we're painting now, is the catapult. 65 metric tons of missile dispensing fury. It's great. Okay, so we're going to put our kitty cat up now. You guys can all see him work on him and make him glorious for our wonderful pirate faction here. Because the Nemean Panthers pretty much are borderline space pirates. They, they've always been kind of sketch, but after Rayana takes over, they're they're going to go full full ham on piracy. She pretty much just at this point goes fuck it. Christopher's got to die, and I don't care how I have to do it. And she just goes full pirate in the process because war crimes, lots and lots of war crimes. And uh, that's how she rolls at this point, because she's just broken, and everything's got to burn. Um, anything that remotely gets in her way is going to go up in a conflagration of some sort. And that's how she views things. She was always a little, a little on the nutso side. Once she loses her adoptive father to Christopher and Lake, she's just like, yep, everything dies. Everything dies that like gets in my way.
I finally start getting all of my mechs. Same field, same. It's gonna be really neat. There's our, our Wolverine we've been working with. One of our Wolverines. We have two of these guys. They're, they're a fair bit further along. Um, I really don't know why the mic was over yonder ways at all. Really don't. Not even in the way of my face. Like, I don't feel like it's sticking in my face at all. I don't even really see it. I've just had it out of position for like two months now. For no reason that I can discern. Try and get the second Wolverine. Uh, or just eliminating the white spots that are peeking on the purples. Soon we'll be able to work on our boy here again. Dry, I can see it. A long bow. It is an assault mech with nothing but missile barrage capability. Incredibly good at what it does. So fairly economic. Again, another reason. Take it don't have the massive resources my other mercenary company. So it makes a nice contrast as to how they play. Because the Panthers will have more of a combined arms approach most of the time. Just by virtue of not having the best. Yeah. We're working on this guy again a little bit. Kind of getting some Ain't brushed on there. We tried the whatever it begins with a C technique. Urban mechs and it seems to be working, honestly. I can see the natural shape. Incredibly neat. Yeah, I like this paint method. So, here's our longbow. Zenithal? Zenithal. It's called Zenithal. We are, we are attempting Zenithal with our latest battle mechs. And so far, man, does it look cool. So, Back to the Shadow Hawk. Mostly dry. We can go ahead and get the paint back out.
And so he's going to be put off to the side now. Enter a little. Working on. Pretty spiff. Like. Work on. Just to get the mostly. Now the washes will also help some of this. Dark gray wash and stuff that I'll do. Not a lot too. Cataphract is pretty much there. Him to the back. Out the Banshee. Fucking Max, man. Things are great. I'm an easy man to please. Is it? Damn, that looks so good. Banshee back for now. Working on the kitty cat again. Work on the trash cans. Work on this disappointer. Centurion. So the mech itself is great. Like the Centurion itself is really solid. I just hate this model. <laughs> it doesn't look right. It it barely has the Centurion helmet. Well, that's what the urban mechs look like, man. I mean, they look like little trash cans, and they're some of the most badass mechs for their tonnage in this setting. It's great. And I just know some artist was like, I'm going to make a trash can into a mech, and we're going to make this mech look kick-be-kick-ass. 
And the fact that somebody was like, hell that do it, was hilarious to me. I mean, look at these guys. They're, they're trash cans. Give me a second. Let's get this guy. All need to see the trash. Tell me that's not a trash can with a gun attached to it. You lying. It's one of the coolest mechs in the game, too, because of that fact. It's so stupid. It's awesome. Exactly. It's got the lid in in everything. It really does. There is no doubt about it. It is, in fact, a trash can. It's an angry, angry trash can, which is what makes it so cool. So... We're going to put our catapult back over here. Our mighty trash can goes back over here. The Jenner goes over there. Oh. Work on the longbow some more. The longbow is cool. It's just legitimately. in my pink. I intentionally didn't put everything up. With the lid back on. Not... No, there's two in there. Yeah, because it's two of the sand ones. Well, it should be two in there. All right, so there are brush is a little bit cleaner. We're going to switch water. Yeah. All it takes. The Leo is ready to go out of the box. Premium paint, it better be. I pay good money for the shit, it better be out ready out of the box, that's all I'm saying. Alright, so, start brushing our stuff on, and we're going to see how this Zenthal highlight style really goes on a bigger, bigger Mac. It works great on the trash can, so I'm curious to see what it does here. Oh, I'm already seeing it. Well, that's going to be cool. Death tubes, we're going to we're going to make sure those get painted. Part in they have to get carbon scored and shit. Look how, how pretty that is. Yes, actually. Uh, that's one of the cooler parts about it. Uh, MechWarrior Online is a little actually freer with letting you customize your paint jobs and stuff. Um, but yeah, it definitely does. And every everyone's mechs are different. You're never going to see, unless somebody is very specifically emulating a box art, which that doesn't last very long. Um, everybody kind of finds 
something they want to do different than the factory stuff, right? But all mechs are different to their pilots. I'm going to try to capture a little bit of that, all of my Merc companies. Uh, all the named heroes in my other Merc company are going to have some different touches to their mechs, paint job wise. Jacob Hale's mech, for example, is going to have more purple added on to it in a little while. Because um, he's from uh, the Free Worlds League. He's a Merrick Princeling Nola. Um, Henry, I can't remember what we picked his last name is. Uh, from for his former Comstar, so his mech is going to have more white on it everybody else's. Rag is from the Rasselhag Republic, so, you know, he's got more of that coastal blue and uh, maybe a little bit more gold on his. And Zenithal method really does pop. So, I'm going to let him do his thing. Him over. Go ahead and get Rayana's chariot here. Start working on her. Dancer's Vengeance, I believe, is what we called her, Mech. So uh, let's start working on Dancer's Vengeance, guys. Also, uh, by the way, Zale, I actually got a uh, pretty decent Twitch payout for all the work we've been doing, the D&D stuff pretty much. Point. It was enough that it was noticeable. But yeah, for everyone following along at home, y'all are only encouraging this shit. So. Y'all sub and y'all uh, donate bits and watch my ads, like, y'all are only enabling this shit. Just want y'all to know that. Y'all want to see more of it? Just keep doing what y'all are doing. We're, we're, we're doing exactly that. Having a ball. Uh, it's been fun this whole time, so y'all have made this a really, really fun experience. Honestly, I kind of was flabbergasted a little bit because I used to do this like the video games and nothing but video games. Never really saw much of anything out of it. Y'all are just letting me chill and do this stuff rather than clowning people in video games. Kind of nice. All done me right, is what I'm saying. Thank you all. Yeah, the dancer's vengeance is dancer's revenge is pretty, 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 really pretty max so. This is not the final shade of pink. Uh, we are going to be uh, adding or bubblegummy pink to it as we go on. We're just getting started with her pinkiness. So let me check something here while we wait on the two. Then we'll go back and uh, start fixing some of these other mechs a little bit. 
doing some touch-ups. Yeah, it really is, like, one of the defining features of the Marauder. And it, it looks so right to see it on there. Um, is that big shoulder cannon. The normal Marauder has it on the middle. Um, I'm not a terribly big fan of the original Marauder sculpt. There's a lot of people that call me a heretic for that is what it is y'all the mech warrior online marauder is the definitive marauder but their catalyst marauder 2 is by far the best marauder 2 um the same thing with their night star their night star is just perfect exactly what i envision that mech look oh uh, There's a lot to like about there's there there are versions of these mechs for everyone. In fact, I might do a dumb. I can't get it by tomorrow, but I'm going to uh, probably go ahead and order a metal uh, archangel. So. My 3D printed Archangel that came in is, um, it looks like it was something sculpted by a five-year-old and I am not going to field it because it is hideous. It will be a proxy for the Seraph. It will not be Christopher's main mech. I am not going to insult my brand new villain by giving him a shit looking mech. Um, so one of his minions will be that in it. Yeah, so yay for them. And we're just kind of doing some rough details on just getting some coverage ironed out. Okay, so we got some more coverage there. Um, as you guys can see, it, uh, are so cool, guys. Like, there is no mix that I. Okay, so I guess the next step will be to be adding more pink to our Marauder and our... We also have to add pink to our Catapult, but that's not quite ready yet. I can still see some damp spots on the mech over there, so we're going to pick some more spots to pink up on our two Assault mechs here. Pink resupply here. Okay. Drops. Drops. One of the nice things about Vallejo is you only got to do like one to drops per drop litter. Depending on how you want to layer. Get that here. Or add. Uh, 
dying brush, but that's okay. They're talking about Rihanna and her willingness to war crime. Two of her mechs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Right now I'm just kind of being mindful of it rather than doing something with it because I don't have my clippers in here. Has a mech called a Vulcan. Her company. Another one called Firestarter, and um, both of them are flamer equipped or flamethrower equipped. They are exact good at exactly what you think those names mean. That's that is something she is totally down for. Particularly care about the she. Fuck it, they get to burn too. Eight. Okay. Then we're gonna pink the belt line. We want this longbow to look right. All come together. So go set the longbow aside. Let's break out. is worried about not being exact because gray washes and stuff that are help change plus black is going to be a prominent color as well Right now, we're just trying to figure out where the pink is, that when I add more purple, things will stand correctly. Okay. Legs. Most pinked up. The endo steel is going to be black. So, between 
between that and the washes. The extra perp. Not going to be a lot of white left on. Also, why we waited for the top pink to drop. Hate this me. Not ruining. Okay, it's better. You guys can see uh, this is a very uh, dangerous more pinks. I have to add some of our darker undertones here and here. Got to add our thruster details there. Endo steel. So there's going to be a lot of purple getting added back in. Let's just make sure. As this is the leader of the entire faction's personal mech, I'm going to also make sure that she's got a little bit more detail. Now receive. That one said. Yeah, don't be afraid also. Stuff like that and going, oh, I don't like that. No, you're breaking out black later. Hey, okay? it's fine. Yes. Very fitting. So. Okay, so we have a lot of purple and some black added onto this later. Pretty much done with. As you guys can see, when the paint's not full, it is very chip heavy. Keep that in mind as you're working. There's a amount of time that this stuff has to cure. Let's go ahead and work on this catapult. Like catapult. I'm gonna do ink here. There's the second pink piece.
super worried about staying in the lines yet because there's going to be a wash that back later. Heavily filled. A lot of this. Heavies and assaults are what everybody shoots at all the time anyway, so just if you want them to be more detailed, don't be afraid to. Everyone's going to be pointing their guns at them as soon as they can anyway. Welcome back, Sale. Clipped a little bit of the hair off the brush. Let's add. That should get this. Catapult is just add. bit more work. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that this paint scheme. It's really coming together. Really enjoying. Okay, so the kitty cat can go over here for now while he he dries. And gander over here again. Start filling in the chips. I'm bad. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so just be able to see what I'm working on, right? Have fun of this. Get Rayana here. Does she have anything that we need desperately? Okay, so her pink is done. So <laughs> let's get back to work, shall we? So we need our purple again. Rayana's mech is not finished on purple. Pretty soon we're actually going to be breaking out the gray. Which the grays, the blacks. Copper. There it goes. Plenty of that miss. Shape the brush a little bit, try to save it, and get there. All right, just the tip is now purpled. I'm going to put this catapult over here because I'm going to be picking this mech up a lot. So, let's start adding our purple into this battle mech. Okay, let's get this shit on the rig, shall we? Poor thug, I just saw you fall. But I don't think it's chipped anything. I think he's might be dry enough now. Not immune to chipping. Going to be closer to it than not. knock more mechs over. That's what we need. Knocking your toys over.
Also, uh, guys, I have a new model for us to work on this month. Because, uh, quite appropriate. She is the mother of all night. Mother of night. I'm looking forward to painting her up for you. She's assembled. Just needs some love. We're going to give her that love. And uh, my current challenge with her is going to be trying to make her part of the waifu catalog in the, oh god, why am I still thinking she's vaguely hot category. So, we'll have our challenge cut out for us on that. That is okay. Like a good challenge here. So, almost as far as the perps go. It's actually kind of getting near that details. We need the black and we need the gray and then we need the silver chipping and then we need some other little goodies. So, let's work on our not so fortunate mechs here. Man, that Marauder 2 just looks so spicy. Looks so spicy. Spicy boy. I like it. I like it a lot. You're pretty much there. Honestly, I could just field you as it is. I'm just going to add some charcoal and shit to that. So, so we have tanks we've got to work on. These guys are defects. By the way, they are not a finished product by any means. So let's get our fat brush. And uh, start layering it on just so that we have some purple and pink on here. And, uh, yeah, you guys are, uh, sorry, sorry, working on the really defective one first. Just seeing how it does straight on to this printed, uh, printed plastic. Really, I'm not really caring too much about these tanks because they're both pretty, pretty nasty prints. Um, they're just here to just kind of like act as our stand-ins right now until uh, they're done. Yes, the fat brush. EM. Um, exactly what it is, though. It is my thicker mini brush. Until I get some other brushes anyway. One of my thickest brushes. Used for just serious throwdown paint coverage. Zero, you don't care, you just need it on the mini brush. Everyone should have a fat brush, DM. So this two hours has been pretty much us goofing off, of, but that's okay. So honestly, this the craft paint is one of the things that's good about it is you can just layer that shit on without primer in a lot of cases, and just you're okay. You're not great, but you're okay. Hmm. <clears throat> But, now, we're at that point where I'm going to have to uh, start doing detail work on a lot. It's going to be a fun thing in of itself when we get there. Yeah, that's the guillotine. That's a really cool mech, too. I like the guillotine a lot. It's got that aesthetic that I appreciate for Battletech. And then there's, of course, the thug, which I personally feel like is the guillotine's bigger brother. Um, the bigger, more successful one at that. We got all kinds of little goodies that we got to work on yet. There's the shadow hawk. I don't really care about him too much. But a little hatchetman here. 
going to be really fun for us to do more with as well. Kind of go through and review what we've done a little bit today. Which was mostly getting base coats on these guys and uh, just kind of establishing color patterns for our salts. Your salt mechs should have some character to them. Both these, I think, have a lot of character. They're going to look really, really cool when we're done with them. And, uh, yeah, these guys are going to be really fun to pull around with. They definitely look the part of what should be a pirate queen's now. The foreground. Because they are sloppy, and they, they can, the tanks can stay sloppy. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much at a point where all the stuff now is going to have to cure before I can really do too much more to it. So we've got to wait on that. So we're just going to go ahead and call it there for the day. And uh, if all goes well, I might actually pop on a little bit later on today. We can do some, some gaming or some drawing or something. Uh, go from there. Hopefully get to see you guys later. And uh, happy painting, have fun, and uh, play some B-Tech and write.